Hey everyone, welcome back. It is good to have you here with me today. It is Friday, December 18th. I'm sure you've been hearing all the stimulus talk and stuff happening. So we're gonna update you all on what's really going on, what's in the stimulus proposal, which one's really going forward. Is it gonna happen this time? I know you've been hearing that. I know you respect some of the opinions here. So by the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you the fact that I actually do think they are probably going to pass this one. And a lot of people might say that that's actually a good thing. I think in the long run, it's actually not, although it will include some money for you. So I know a lot of people out there really need some help, especially during the Christmas season. So it does include money. I could try to help you calculate out exactly how much it's going to be if you're going to get this before Christmas. But the lawmakers, the politicians out there are saying that don't worry about it. They're actually planning on giving you more money in another stimulus bill that they're going to be putting together in 2021. That's what I think the smoke screen is. I actually think that they're probably going to get this one together. But the 2021 one, that is a, never going to happen. And so let me just get to that part of the video so I can share that with you. But before we get there, let me give you the headlines. So here we go. CNBC make it going down this article here. This just does a good job. It lets you know that this is a bipartisan bill. It kind of is. It's between Republicans and Democrats. They're bipartisanly um, screwing everybody. It's a $908 billion legislative bill, seven hundred and 38 billion in funding. That's going to be for all the proposals to increase unemployment, to send out the stimulus checks. And then there's a second part of the bill that's $160 billion, and that's going to be funding for state and local municipalities. So this is from CNET Personal Finance. I'm just going to scroll down here. It gives a pretty good synopsis of what to expect from this stimulus check if they do pass this bill, and I do think they will. So one aspect of the $900 billion stimulus bill that may not be fully formed is a second stimulus check, which is leaning to $600 for eligible adults and dependents. So here's the deal. It's going to be a $600 stimulus check. If you have kids, it's going to be $600 for each of your kids, all of your dependents. Of course, Social Security, SSI, veterans, RRB, survivors are all included in this. It's the same exact one that they did before. So if you got a check from the last one, you're going to get a check from this one. It's just going to be $600 instead of $1,200. However, and this was reported yesterday, Republican Senator Josh Hawley said that tomorrow I'm going to go to the Senate floor and ask for an upper down vote on the bill to provide a payment of $1,200 to working families, $2,400 for couples, $500 for kids. By the way, he brought that to the Senate floor and it got blocked. Yes, it did about an hour ago. Senator Ron Johnson from Wisconsin on Friday blocked an effort to pass a second round of stimulus checks, arguing that coronavirus relief needs to be targeted. So I don't want to get anyone confused here because I know a bunch of you are probably thinking already. So does that mean there's no stimulus checks in this new one? No, there are. They just blocked the $1,200 stimulus checks and they're going to go with the $600 stimulus checks. I know it's absolutely insulting, but yes, they're going to put into this bill a $600 check for you. So if you're a single person, you're going to get $600 from the federal government. If you're married, you're going to get $1,200. If you have kids, you're going to get $600 for each of them or dependents likewise. So is this really going to happen? Now, I know a lot of you are very skeptical of it, and you should be, rightfully so. We've seen them talk about this stuff in the past, how, oh, we're very confident it's going to happen. We had a $2.2 trillion, $1.9 trillion, and everyone was dancing around and saying, uh, yes, it's going to happen, and nothing's ever happened. But this time, it is actually a little different, and let me tell you why. In the previous iterations from each of the sides, we saw that they would not pass a bill unless it included this. And if it doesn't, then there's a 0% chance that has actually ended. Both sides are now actively admitting we're just going to go ahead and get this one passed and done, even if it doesn't include everything we want. And we'll pick that up in 2021. That's a huge difference. And, and that is actually a game changer because that was the one thing that was stopping it from happening in the past. That thing is no longer really now there. So here we see on Market Watch, their headline, McConnell gives rosy fiscal stimulus talks update, significant headway made. I know we've seen this before, but just, just stick with me here. Uh, Friday, McConnell said significant headway had been made in negotiations and the talks remained productive. In fact, I'm even more optimistic now than I was last night that a bipartisan bicameral framework for a major rescue package is very close to at hand. We are seeing similar things from Nancy Pelosi as well, where she's basically saying all of those hundreds of billions of dollars, you know, 400, 500 billion dollars that I wanted for state and local government. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that stuff. All of the different things that they were putting in there wording wise for marijuana use and all. Yeah, we don't really need that stuff right now. The $600 for unemployment boost. Yeah, we're willing to cut down to 300. I mean, I'm not joking with you. They are literally basically saying all those things that we said were lines in the sand are no longer lines in the sand. Now, that's why they're bipartisanly working to actually give it to the American people. So they're really not helping us out as much as you would think. A lot of this funding is going for business.
businesses. And then there's a big chunk that's going for uh, state and local governments. Not as much as each side wanted, but they're willing to give the money to the businesses and state, state and local governments and then just be like, oh, here, you need some unemployment help. Here's an extra 300 bucks. Oh, and by the way, here's a $600 stimulus check. So no matter which side you're on, if you're Republican or Democrat, um, you should know right now that both sides are giving it to you. And both sides are going to tell you that they're going to work on another one in 2021. And I, in fact, think that that's an absolute joke. So this from the Intelligencer, but also being reported by many other media sites. You can see the headline here. Trump nearly blew up stimulus talks with a demand for a big second check. Going down the article here, we see on a phone call Thursday afternoon, Trump told allies that he believes stimulus payments in the next relief package should be at least $1,200 per person and possibly as big as $2,000 per person, the official said. Congressional leadership is preparing a stimulus check that would provide checks of $600 per person. And Yahoo News, and everybody loves Yahoo News because they're so good, said, said it this way. White House aides reportedly stepped in to keep Trump from calling for 2,000 stimulus checks, fearing it could torpedo relief negotiations. Now, no matter what you think about Donald Trump, I will tell you right now, you can see both sides, the Republicans and the Democrats coming together in a bipartisan give it job to the American people right now. But wouldn't you know it? President Donald Trump seems like the only voice of reason out there. I wonder how many people uh, voted against Donald Trump this time. And when you look at what's actually going on, you realize, oh my goodness, um, is this guy actually the only one that does actually care about the American people? It may be so, because now we're seeing both sides coming together in their sneaky little snake oil way that they always do to get the money where they want it to go. Because at the end of the day, if you're a Democrat, if you're a liberal, Nancy Pelosi wants to give the money to the government, guys. She doesn't want to give it to you. She wants to give it to the state and local government government officials, in particular in the states that she wants to give it to. You know, New York, California, Illinois. She wants those governors and those mayors of those states to get their pockets filled with this money so they can divvy it up wherever they want with every social program that they could have. The Republicans want to give the money to businesses. That's where they want it to flow to, businesses and banks. Nobody wants to give the money to the American people. That's why they're like, oh, that $600 unemployment? Yeah, it's okay. We'll do it to $300. Oh, $1,200 checks? Yeah, we'll do $600. And then the voice of reason, President Donald Trump, which many of you out there, at least half of you who watch this would think, oh, there's no way he's the voice of reason, says, we need to be giving more money to the American people. And you know what both sides are going to do if they do that? Shut the talks down, because that's not where they want to go again. They don't want to talk about giving more money to the American people. They want to talk about giving money to the things that they want to give it to. I just find it ridiculous how sometimes we, we can become so partisan, even on this channel, where people will say, oh, how dare you speak about Pelosi? Or how dare you do this, you have to at the end of the day, they're all against you, every single one of them. They're power-filled, power-hungry, money-hungry individuals who want to funnel the cash off where they want it to go, but I guarantee you it ain't to you. That's why Donald Trump has always been an anomaly, an anomaly for everybody, even the Republicans, because he doesn't go along with that playbook. He's in some ways kind of like, uh, although he is a billionaire, he thinks in ways that are tend to not be like politicians, where it's like, uh, why don't we just give the money to the people? Uh, can you just hush hush a little bit, Donald Trump, and not talk about giving $2,000 checks to people? Because that's just going to stop the talks. Really? Is a $2,000 check to the American people really going to stop the talks? That just shows me exactly where these politicians stand and exactly what they think about you and think about me. So at the end of the day, if you're still with me on this video, do I think this is going to pass? I actually do, because I've seen a change up in the way that each side is talking about it. We're seeing Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi basically saying, yeah, it's fine. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. And they're putting it together because they've gotten the hundreds of billions of dollars that they've wanted for each of their things. And then they're willing to just funnel in some little, you know, play money to other people and just keep the American people quiet down. And so now they're all coming together on this. So it makes me think that they're actually going to pass this. Plus, they're putting out the smoke screen there that they're going to keep talks going into 2021. That is not going to happen. Not a chance chance on planet Earth, unless unless the Democrats win both senatorial runoff seats in Georgia. If that happens, then I do actually believe that they will do another stimulus uh, plan and it will be massive. If one of the Republicans take one of the seats, then there is no new stimulus plan. I don't think there's going to even be another one that's going to happen, to be honest with you. I think they'll shut it down immediately because vaccines are going to be going out and, and you're going to have uh, herd immunity and all different stuff. Summer's going to be coming down the pipeline. Yes, they'll stall it way out until 
summer. The levels are going to start going down. Everything's going to be opening back up, and they're going to say, well, we don't really need one anymore. So I can guarantee you, if they're talking 2021 thing, it's not going to happen. So at the end of the day, what is going to happen? I think they're going to actually pass this one. So get ready for it, ladies and gentlemen. If you got a check the last time, you're going to get a check this time, and it's going to be $600 per person and per dependent. Uh, $1,200 for couples, obviously, $600 per person in the couple. So there you go. And uh, when are you going to get it by? Well, they're going to have to pass this thing sometime within the next week or so. Were they going to get it here before Christmas? Mm, definitely not. So you're probably going to see it sometime in January, uh, maybe January 15th. But, you know, if you charge stuff on the card, maybe that's enough time to pay it off with a hefty $600 uh, check from the federal government. Um, unfortunately, they voted down the $1,200 check today and President Donald Trump calling for $2,000 checks. Mm -mm, can't have that happen. Both sides in agreement. Can't do it. That's going to shut things down very badly. So that's where we stand. I do think this one's going to happen, but I will keep you up to date on it. I know a lot of people will probably say, no, it's definitely not going to happen. But you know what? It's actually not even a big deal anymore because they basically stripped all this stuff out of it that would be beneficial anyway for a lot of people. So, you know, if it does or doesn't happen, it's not, it's, it, they've, they basically made it into, um, nothing anyway for many people. I mean, unless, I mean, $600 for the last nine months. I mean, in all honesty, $600. That what, what I, I'm, I'll take the 600 bucks. And then I know you will too. But really, what are they, but they're playing a game here is what they're doing. The $300 unemployment boost. Okay. I guess. I mean, for people that are really unemployed. Um, okay. Uh, so the hundreds of billions are going to businesses. Hundreds of billions are going to government. That's where the money's going to. And then they, they said, ah, we'll just give up on all this other stuff. We had a $1.9 trillion bill three months ago, ladies and gentlemen. We had a $1.9 trillion bill. I will tell you, I know not everybody's a fan of me. I know they're not. I will tell you on this channel, I said, Nancy Pelosi should take that and and run. $1.9 trillion bill, what are we doing? That's why all of these Democrats, hundreds of them, signed letters to Nancy Pelosi saying, please, Nancy Pelosi, take this bill. Take it. And she didn't. Now we're stuck with a $908 billion bill. Oh, yeah, we could do that. And we'll talk later. They're just playing games. They're playing games. They played a political game. And she's basically admitted to it. Yeah, I pretty much stalled it because it was before the election. I mean, does anyone even care anymore about this? I mean, obviously we do, but we just keep electing them in. You know, we voted, we vote them, vote them all back in. We had votes before. I saw the comments on this channel. Vote everyone out. Vote them all out. Everyone's back in. Now, not everyone was up for election, of course, but they're all back in. Everyone's back in doing the same exact stuff. So... I think they're going to pass it. I think they're going to, but by the way, they're going to have it be an omnibus bill. Basically means they're going to put it together with another bill. It's where they can shove a bunch of stuff all together and nobody says anything and they just pass it along. They're going to get the federal government funded and they're going to attach this $908 billion stimulus thing to it. But like I said, let's just keep things clear. You will probably get another check. It'll be $600 per person. Okay. So that at the end of the day, that's what's happening. It's not final yet, but, um, it's pretty close. It is it is very, very close. I, I will tell you that much. Uh, I, I wouldn't hold my breath either way, though. Uh, and if it didn't pass, I wouldn't be stunned. But um, it's pretty close. And it's probably going to happen. So you're not going to get your check in December, though. You're going to get it in January. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll continue to keep you update with this sort of um, practical, realistic type of explanation of what's going on. Hopefully you find it valuable and that it kind of cuts through some of the nonsense that's uh, out there. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoy your weekend. I will, of course, catch you next time.